Good morning, scholars. It's time for math. Today, we're going to be focusing on number bonds. Now, I know you guys have gotten really good with number bonds over the past few months, but we're not just going to talk about any number bonds. We're going to focus on teen numbers, okay? So, who can think of some teen numbers just as a review? I'll give you some think time. If you said numbers such as 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, or 19, you are correct. So those are the numbers we're going to be focusing on. The numbers between 10 and 20, okay? So a number bond, as we know, consists of a whole and two parts, just like so. And this number bond, this would be the whole and these are the two parts, okay? So sometimes in a number bond, you may be given the whole and asked to find the parts. And other times, you may be given the parts and asked to find the whole or a combination of both. Sometimes you'll be given a whole and a part, and then you'll have to find the other part, okay? So in our number bond, I know that my whole is 11 and 10 plus one equals 11. Since we've been we've been focusing on tens and ones in our base 10 unit, we're going to be making number bonds using tens and ones. In 11, there is one 10 and one one. Now who can remember, why do we call this a 10? Why is this called a 10? I'll give you some more think time to think of why do we call this a 10. That's right. We call this a 10 because this 10 is made up of 10 of these ones. Okay? So in the number 11, we have 110 and 11. One. Let's do a few more together. I'm gonna write the whole and I want you guys to come up with the parts. I want you to tell me how many tens and how many ones in this number bond and the number that I'm about to give you. Now remember, these are tens, these are ones, okay? Our first number that I want you guys to try to figure out is 13, okay? I'm gonna give you five seconds to try to figure out the two parts that go in 13. Now remember, it has to be tens and ones. Let me see if you can get the same answer that I come up with. Ready? Three, two, one. In 13, there is one 10 and three ones okay Ooh. all right let's do another one now i want you guys to try the number 16. think about the parts that would go into the number 16. how many tens how many ones what plus what is going to give me 16. Let's see if you guys can come up with the same answer I do. I'm going to give you five seconds. Three, two, one. Did you come up with 10 and six? Because there's one 10 and six ones. So that's one 10 and six ones okay let's do one more together now i want you guys to try the number 18 but this time i'm gonna give you one of the parts and i want you to fill in the other part I'll give you five seconds to see if you can tell me what the other part is. Focusing on tens and ones. I say this because 
There are other ways that we can come up with a number 18, such as nine and nine, because nine plus nine equals 18. But we wanna focus on how many tens and how many ones. Let's see if you can get this, this answer. Three, two, one. That's right. I knew you would get 10 because there's one 10 and eight ones and 18. Great job. Give yourselves a pat on the back, a kiss your brain. I want you guys to keep practicing number bonds with tens and ones. Good luck on your assignments today and have fun.